Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're all having a completely amazing day. And today's video is another self-portrait, believe it or not. Um, I did one of these pretty, like, it wasn't that long ago. It was like maybe a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago. And I painted a self-portrait in full oils, and now I'm doing an acrylic and oil self-portrait. And this self-portrait was inspired by the amazing Lena Danya. Um, a couple days ago, I believe, she posted a speed paint of a portrait of a girl she did, and it was in oils, and it was a beautiful portrait. Like, she used really, really heavy, deep shadows, and I wanted to try and kind of mess around with more deep and darker lighting in my work. So I thought a self-portrait would be kind of a fun way to start off this new way of doing my art and um i took a like dark reference photo in my room i turned off all the lights and i got one flashlight out and i took a picture on my phone kind of posed a little bit and then i took the reference photo i took and um i put a 9 by 12 grid over top of it and i put that same grid over top of the birch panel i painted the portrait on and i used the grid and the reference photo to get the proportions right on the drawing on the birch panel so I totally recommend using a grid. The last time I used a grid, I think it was, it was crazy long ago. It was maybe like a year ago, I think. I did a self-portrait in late 2015 or early 2016, and that was actually my first Instagram post I ever did, and it's actually deleted right now because I didn't really like it. And I will post a picture of it right now. And I think it's kind of cool to see how um, it's changed, how my work has changed from then to now. And um, I remember doing that portrait and doing it in just graphite pencil and doing it in fully black and white because that was mainly the only thing I knew how to do. Like I didn't know how to work with color really. So um, now I'm going back to that black and white type of look for this portrait and I'm able to kind of work with more color and more light and I feel like I've just overall kind of improved in that kind of way like I just know how to use light and color a little bit better now and then compared to the portrait I did like last month this one I think turned out a lot more realistic and it portrays me a lot more I think so um as much as I uh, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that self-portrait like looking back at it now I kind of just want to like burn it a little bit but like I don't know, it's weird. It's not necessarily bad now. It's just, I'm like that with my art, you know? Like, I like it one day, and then the next day I'll be like, eh, you're kind of gross now, and I'll just, like, put it in a drawer and never take it out ever again. So, like, I need to get better at, like, liking old art, because I was still practicing, and that was my first self-portrait that I ever painted. So, you know, I'm kind of more well-adapted to doing self-portraits now. But um, I do like how this one turned out a lot more than my previous two self-portraits that I did. Of course, I will put a link down below to Lena Danya's video that inspired this piece. And I will put a link down below to my last self-portrait if you guys are curious about that. And this self-portrait is a lot more realistic than what I usually do. Um, but I tried to incorporate a little bit of that fantasy style I love so much into this portrait by doing the vibrant moths and doing the bright colored hair. I have super bright hair in real life. I have colored hair and it's like blues and greens and purples. So I tried to incorporate this that into the piece as well. And I will put all, the, all of the materials I used to make this portrait down below. It was mainly just Liquitex Basics acrylic paint, a birch panel, and then Gamblin oil paints. And with those materials, I made this piece. And I'm thinking about putting this piece into any portfolio I would ever need to make. Like, for example, if I was going to get a job somewhere doing something artistic and they needed a portfolio, I will totally include this into said portfolio. Or if I am applying to art school anytime soon, I would incorporate this, I think, too. Because it shows that not only can I paint these, like, ethereal fantasy goddesses, but I can also do a realistic portrait. And I can also paint a guy, and I can make it look not, like, horrible. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh 
Oh, and also really quick, I apologize. Right now it is summertime and I live in Ohio and in Ohio it is really, really hot. Well, maybe it's not that hot compared to other places, but I'm like, I like it to be cold. Like I like the fall and the winter. So summertime is like the worst time of year for me, even though I'm not in like nasty school or anything. Um, but it's super hot in my room. I don't have that much air circulation in my room and I don't want to open a window since it'll let out kind of like the cold air that's already in the house but um, either way my room is still super hot and it's hard to work in here kind of and my paintings don't really dry if they are just sitting in my room because it's so humid so I moved my little tabletop easel and my work station kind of to my living room and it's a lot colder in there there's more airflow so I'm able to work for longer hours and not really feel nasty or anything so I, I worked in the living room for this video and for the next couple videos I will be in the similar place I won't be in my regular studio type area and I apologize for that I'm sorry if you see for example my two dogs might be like running around in the background of this video or you might see like the occasional leg of like one of my family members since it was the living room I did get lots of like stuff in the background and I am sorry for that but I hope you guys don't mind and I don't think it really takes away from the actual speed paint so um let me know what you guys think of this portrait I would love to hear what you guys think and also um thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers I have said this in the last couple videos but like it's just crazy to me like I'm so in love with making YouTube videos I think it's so fun and I really love getting to talk to you guys as well so the fact that I'm still doing it and it and you guys are still liking my videos it makes me so happy so thank you so much for all of your support you guys you guys are freaking the best and i'm just like overwhelmed by everything so you know just thank you from the bottom of my heart and i'll stop being sappy but you guys are the freaking best and um i will try to have all the like i'll try to have all my videos up on time from now on this video came out a day late because my freaking editing software believe it or not was freaking horrible again which isn't unusual for my editing software and my computer but um i hope you guys like this video and i should have a studio tour video up by the end of the week or sometime next week and then i am actually going to be out of town for a week on the 18th and then during that week i should have one video up but i won't have two videos up so i'm sorry for that but i hope you guys don't mind i will be on instagram a lot during that time though so whenever i am out of town i am always active on there and I think that is pretty much all I have to say. Again, um, I really enjoy doing this portrait and I'm definitely going to incorporate more um, dramatic lighting in my work from now on. And I hope you guys really like how this turned out. And let me know what you guys think down below and I will get back to all of your comments if I can. And um, also, if you liked this video, please leave a like, it means so much. And if you're not already, please subscribe and join the art family. We are growing so fast and I'm like freaking dying of amazement. So like, thank you guys again so much for everything. And I will see you all in a future video. Bye guys.